this is Patrick from BIM Object, and today we will look at the latest release from Echophone. Uh, this is a series uh, of a large variety of uh, ceiling products, um, acoustic ceilings, uh, and they are available at beamobject.com, of course, through, uh, through a regular web browser, and also, uh, like I'm doing here, through the integrated app in Archicad. Uh, Echophone ends uh, is on the top here as you can see we have a, a few uh, few products here so I click in on the Advantage A in this case uh, and here you find information as uh, description links related uh, information as material and, and so on uh, when I click download I can click download here on the ArchiCAD object and it loads straight into my uh, my beam software in this case ArchiCAD uh, for, so first before I'm um, actually working with the object uh, we'll have a quick look here uh, on what kinds of products you actually get and if I select one of them uh, let's start with uh, the Advantage A which we were actually uh, looking at on the on the portal uh, so when I click it I get a use interface here to the right uh, this is uh, this is where you configure configure your ceiling solution uh, we have the different table sizes uh, the uh, color of the actual panels uh, we have the settings for the rails or the structure. Uh, in this case, you have install different installation methods, uh, rail types, uh, trans transition types for the edges, and also rail materials in some cases. Uh, next page is the hanger options. Um, as you can see here, the, there's uh, nothing set as, uh, as a preset, uh, but this is where you uh, do custom customized uh, placement of the, of the hangers. We'll, we'll get back to that. Uh, in a while. Uh, you also have visual appearance settings, uh, some text information and also links back to web pages and, uh, at both Echophone and beamobic.com to get extended information. So these objects are controlled by mainly two things. Uh, first, the story settings uh, in ArchiCAD, so where you set which heights you set your stories on uh, and also uh, what room you're actually working with. Uh, so as you can see here, we have a, a interior wizard menu here. Interior wizard is something you can download freely from graphisoft.com. Um, but here you can see there's gra they grayed out. And that's because they need something to work with. So in this case, uh, interior wizard works with zones. So I have the zone tool mm -hmm. selected and double click in a room and automatically ArchiCAD draws a zone for me. Uh, and it's these zones I will work with to actually place the ceilings. So when I select a zone, I can go back to the design extras menu, interior wizard, and I can now create a room accessory. Three options here, ceiling, wall, and floor accessories. Uh, I choose ceiling, of course, because that's what, I'm, what I want to work with. Uh, and we'll just use the preset values here for the advantage A. So I just click OK, and then OK again. And you can see I have my ceiling grid uh, in plan view here. And we can also have a look at this uh, in the in the 3D view. Uh, so if we double click that, spin around a bit, uh, you can see the ceiling in 3D as well. Uh, this is actual uh, geometry. It's not just a grid. It's actual geometry. So you can see that we actually have the the uh, the structure visible for you as well. Uh, it's quite empty now uh, because that's because we're we have this on a low 3D setting at the moment. Uh, we'll change that in a, in a bit. But if we use the in, use interface here again, you can see we can instantly change the table sizes uh, without doing any any major uh, work to it. Uh, so it can change back to the 600 by 600. I can choose another structure or installation method. Uh, we could also uh, change the uh, transitions and um, and so on. And depending on depending on what uh, configuration you you make it. Uh, more or less things are available. This is of course based on what Echophone can produce and actually sell and give to you. Um, so I selected a detail, uh, a high detail level here. Uh, you get some more color. Uh, and this is where the hangers come in. Um, so in this case I can choose uh, for example direct brackets uh, which is uh, non-adjustable. Uh, they are available in three lengths here, so I choose the 100 millimeter one. And when I click OK now, you can see that we can actually see the direct connect brackets. And when using these brackets, you have have to of course uh, change the uh, story height so that the ceiling matches up to the slab above. 
Uh, but if you don't want to do that, you can always use the adjustable hangers. As you can see, they're adjustable in a span between 200 and 1000 millimeters. Uh, and they, of course, change instantly as well when you choose those. We'll get back to that uh, in a moment. So let's just have a look at another ceiling, uh, ceiling solution. Uh, so I go back to my ground floor plan here. I select my zone. Once again, I choose the interior wizard and create room accessory. Choose a ceiling accessory and then have, let's have another, another ceiling solution here. Um, yeah, let's go with this one. You can see we have more rail materials here as an example. We only have one table size, but uh, as I said before, the different uh, options vary depending on what product you actually work with. Uh, so I click OK, OK once more, and then we have our ceiling grid once again. Uh, so select the ceiling, quick command control T to get back in here, put on the high detail 3D, uh, change to adjustable hangers again. Uh, we also have something here called hangers position and what that is is that you can actually change the position of the hangers manually. Uh, sometimes that's needed because maybe you end up uh, having hangers uh, placed at, in the same space as ventilation or a lamp fixture or something like that. Uh, so what you do is that you actually you zoom in here, you can see we have these purple hotspots here. That's a hanger. Uh, and when you click them, you can actually move these. So I click this one up here. And when I move it, you see the other, the entire line of hangers uh, adjusts with it. So in with this meta method, I can plan accordingly to where to place the hangers to make the most op optimized um, positioning of them. Uh, as I said before, to avoid ventilation pipes or drums or uh, any other things that might interfere. This is also, of course, visible in the 3D, uh, 3D view. So you can easily uh, have a quick look at uh, for collisions uh, before running this in a collision uh, software. So you can see how very dynamic it is to work with these kinds of objects. You can instantly see the changes you do. Um, and you can you can make uh, adjustments at, at ease. Uh, as an example, I can go back in here again in the uh, in the user interface with this particular system. I can sh choose the rail material to be black, uh, and you can instantly see how it happens in the three D view. And whilst these kinds of options is very important in the visualization point of view or uh, mainly for graphics, they also have an impact when it comes to the structure. Uh, another option we have as an example is let's go back to the first ceiling we placed here uh, is that we can we can uh, arrange how the grid is actually placed. So if I click this little circle in the grid in the middle, uh, we can change the original or origin point of the entire structure, but we can also rotate the structure. Uh, and while we're doing this, all the set rules for the construction is still respected. So the hangers will be at the correct position in terms of maximum and minimum distances and so on. So there's really lots you can do with these options. I don't really have time to show you all here. Uh, but if you want to have a deeper look at this, you can always download these ob objects at beamobject.com. And it's all for free, of course. So thank you very much for watching.